Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of TPG R&D. Today we're going to talk about energy systems. Now, within the context of every training session at TPG, we got three things going on at least. We have energy system work. We have movement and we have modalities. These are ways we categorize training. Uh, today we're just gonna talk about energy systems. So the energy system piece, with that in mind, you've got three basic energy systems for all human beings. These are all used all the time, but you're predominantly using one in any given moment. We've got the creatine phosphate, then you've got the glycolytic, and we have the aerobic system. The creatine phosphate system, this is gonna give you between one to 10 seconds or so of really powerful muscular contraction. This is the way that you synthesize ATP, which is energy, and make it do muscular work. So if you're sprinting 25 to 50 meters, if you are doing a max rep deadlift, something like that, you're going to be predominantly in the creatine phosphate system. But after about 10 seconds for most human beings, that is exhausted and you've got to go to another fuel source to make that ATP, to make that energy happen. The next one's going to be glycolytic. So the glycolytic fuel source, you're starting to use sugar. So you're starting to pull sugar from your muscles and your liver and you're using this sugar to make the energy happen again. So this is going to take anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe 90 seconds, maybe uh, two, two minutes or so, maybe a little less, a little more. It depends on the individual. You still got a lot of power, not as much as creatine phosphate, but still pretty powerful. However, it's gonna run out pretty quickly as well. So think about running, for some of you, maybe a 400 meter run as fast as you can. Maybe you're doing something, if you're in CrossFit, you're doing something with kettlebell swings and pull-ups, and it's only gonna last about 90 seconds or so, but you're going all out. So the third one is the aerobic system, and this is probably what you're doing right now. So this is when you're using oxygen in order to make the muscle contract, and so it make the ATP happen. So you've got all three energy systems. Why do we even break this down? Well, in every session of, at, at TPG, we are either training or testing. And this is an important difference to have. I can go on and on about this difference, but the important thing right now for me to get across to you is that we train to test, we do the test, and then that drives our training. The reason we do this is because overriding literally thousands of training sessions, working with hundreds of athletes over the years, we have found that this works. It gets improvement, not only for people in the beginning stages, but for folks who have been doing this stuff for years. We're seeing constant improvement in their health and fitness. Look, I realize that this is an oversimplification of a very complex topic. If you're interested in learning more, first thing to do is take a look in the information section and we've got a couple of links there that will help kind of get into this a little bit more and maybe even spur some more questions for you. The next step is to also sign up for an on-ramp where we'll deal with this topic and many others that relate to your health and fitness for years to come. So go to the website, sign up for an on-ramp, we'll talk a lot about it. I'm really looking forward to having you with us.